Hi, I'm Robert, one of the technicians here at Grady Veterinary Hospital. Today's video is going to be a tour of our hospital. Um, where we're at right now is our reception area. Um, obviously, this is where any of our animals that are coming in to see us enter the hospital. Um, our receptionists are always up here, so they're basically our eyes and ears of the hospital. Um, so they can take a look and see if it's you know just a routine visit or if it's something critical that's coming in the door. Um, again, this is 24-hour access to our hospital. Okay, so this is an example of one of our exam rooms. This is exam room 7, which is our bigger exam room in the hospital. Um, every exam room is basically equipped the same. Um, we have a lift table um, in this room. This is for our larger animals, uh, like our mastiffs, pit bulls, rottweilers, stuff like that. Um, so we can walk them up. The table goes all the way down to the floor. And then we can just have a button here where we can raise the animal up as high as we need to. Um, it also comes equipped with a scale. Um, some guys are nervous about walking up onto a scale, so once we get them up here, we can get an accurate weight. Every exam room has a computer um, where we will enter information as far as why the pet's coming in to see us, um, doing our histories and everything like that. Um, it, it also gives us uh, the opportunity to pull up an x-ray if your animal has to go into the back and get an x-ray. Um, the doctor can come up here and, and load them up on the screen here um, so they can go over, you know, if everything's normal, if we have a broken bone or a possible foreign body, stuff like that. Um, also, this exam room is safe for our visits. Um, we have a couple of chairs. It's a little bit bigger, so if somebody comes in to visit their pet that's been in the hospital for a while, um, it's kind of it's a little bit more of a homier feel in here. Okay, um, this uh, area here is our X-ray slash ultrasound room. Um, if a pet comes in that is injured or we're worried about a possible foreign body or some sort of tumor, um, we can come in here and take X-rays. Um, um, very quickly. Um, typically there's a technician and an assistant as well as the animal um, and this is where we'll take an x-ray. Um, typically x-rays are taken with two views so we can try to get a 3D image um, when we look at a, the x-ray uh, on the outside here. Um, so there's, there's two forms. Um, one's a lateral where they'll be on their side and one's a VD typically where they're on their back. Um, as well as this is our ultrasound machine. Um, we do a lot of cardiac workups on cats especially um, to make sure you know that their heart's beating okay correctly, getting a good um, the volume of blood circulation. Um, so we can do all kinds of images here. Um, this is an example of a heart, heart ultrasound. Um, where we can see, you know, what we can do to help that cat or dog's heart beat better and more efficiently. Okay, the area behind me is our surgical suite. Um, we do have three surgery tables, as you can see. Um, we do sometimes have three surgeries going on at the same time. Um, this is a very delicate room of our hospital. Um, we make sure that it is extremely clean and sterile um, because, you know, during a surgery, we are opening up abdomens and uh, or and. Uh, doing uh, orthopedic surgery, stuff like that. Um, so we make sure that everything inside this room is kept clean at all times. Um, you can see that nobody's allowed inside that room without a cap and or mask. We have a spay going on right now, um, which is one of our more routine surgeries. Um, also we do neuters and or if your patient has an, uh, an emergency surgery or exploratory, something like that, or ate something that it's not supposed to, that's what happens in this room behind us. Again, with uh, the, the large amount of surgery that we do comes the pack room. Um, this is where we will clean, sterilize, and make sure that instruments are good to go for the next patient. Um, again, we take sterility very, very seriously here. Um, we have two machines behind me that we use. Um, one is a steam autoclave that makes sure it kills all bacteria, fungi, anything, viruses that could possibly be transmitted. Um, also an ethylene oxide um, sterilizer um, that, that sterilizes things chemically. Um, again, this is all of our packs. Um, we have orthopedic, um, you know, things for a splenectomy if we need to get in that direction. Um, things for a simple laceration or if we're getting into really big surgeries like a blow, a cystotomy where we have to remove bladder stones, um, spays, neuters, all these instruments up here serve a purpose. This is our dentistry suite. Um, we have two technicians that do um, our dentals here, Brett and Beth. Um, they do a, quite a lot of work back here. Um, you know, dentistry has really taken off in the 20 years that I've been here. Um, if you can imagine, not most people brush their animals' teeth, and if you can imagine how your mouth would feel a day, a week, a month, even a year without brushing your teeth, a lot of disease can, um, you know, accumulate during that time. This is our prep room. Um, anybody who needs an eye on 24 hours a day is up here um, in our ICU area as well. 
Um, so anybody who's post-op um, who has to stay here with us, and be on IV fluids, they're up here with us. Um, there's somebody in this room 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, you can see we have IV fluid pumps and emergency travel sheets, so we know exactly what's going on with these guys. We can walk up, take a look, see what's going on, and be in the know and know how to uh, treat them appropriately. Here's known as our isolation room. Um, we do have, uh, unfortunately, some diseases that are communicable between uh, human and pet. Um, those are zoonotic diseases, um, and also pet to pet. Um, parvovirus is one of the big ones that we deal with. Um, so if a pet does have parvovirus, they come into isolation. Um, in here, once they're in this room, this is where they stay for, their, for the remainder of their, their stay at the hospital. Um, we have everything from blood tubes and IV catheters to IV pumps, to cages, to cleaning supplies. So once an animal comes in here, um, they cannot um, possibly transmit um, the disease that they have into the rest of the hospital. Um, this hospital also has its own ventilation. So as things are ventilated in here, they go directly outside. Um, so they're not going in through the hospital, possibly spreading a virus or anything like that. So a lot of thought has been put into this room. So once you know, we do um, diagnose an animal with a contagious disease that they come in here and we really minimize the risk of passing that to another pet while they're here at the hospital.